This is a book review of The Story of Sex, and it's by Philippe Brenon and Lashtisha Coron. And what a beautiful book. It's obviously, it was originally French. I love French comic books, French BD. They are just superb, just cover areas and topics that the Brits would never, never, ever, I would be very surprised if someone brought a book out like this in Britain. But I just think it's just superb. Of course, it's been translated into English, and you've got obviously the introduction here. This is from Penguin Books, Random House. You've got the origins, you've obviously got everyone as, and then through there, you go all the way through to Egypt, etc., Greece, and I'm just going to quickly flick through, but it's basically phallic festivals, Roman times. So literally, there's no continuing story, there's not like a character that you follow. It's just bits, obviously, talking about, there's a lot of text. So if you, it's just a lot of text all the way through, but just some great imagery all the way through. And it's a fun, fun read. It's got it's a lot of humour all the way through it. And it's, well, of course, if you're slightly disturbed by anything like this, well, I would obviously not going to recommend it because it's, it does not hold back at any point. Obviously, uh, St. Augustine, love stories, courtly love. And, well, <laughs> there's lots and lots of scenes in it that I'm, well, I think it's just an amazing book. But again, like I say, I don't think that anyone in Britain would ever bring this out, but I'm glad that the French have brought this book out. And I think it's just superb. It's got a lot, obviously goes through the various art, exot exotics, Exotism, how do you say it? Exotism. Is that such a word? Exotism. Hugo Superman, George Wonder Woman, The Beginnings of Sexology, Birth of Homosexuality, 20th Century Sexual Liberation, Modesty in Retreat. And it's just broken down, all goes through all the different periods. So you go from that Tudor period, you're going into the obviously the Georgian period. And of course, it's not only just that sounds like it's just England, it's not. It's obviously all the way around the world, obviously America as well as France, Germany, etc. So there's a whole range of different areas that are covered. Obviously goes to here, you've got uh, Alfred Kinsley. And then through obviously into the 1970s, 1980s, sex shops and so on. And then at the back, it's got some brief notes back. I just think this is just an absolutely wonderful. One of those sort of books that I say, quite often I go into like Gosh or Foils or some one of the bookshops and you're walking around and you think, oh, that's interesting, just stands out. You think, oh, let's have a just quick look, flick through it. And I just thought this, and especially since it's a, a really decent price, that's why I bought this copy for £15. I think that was just brilliant. I'm certain it's probably, I assume it's still available and still accessible on various websites, etc. But this is a brilliant book, totally recommended.